All right. Well, we're recording. Welcome, everybody. This is Chuck Hansen. And, um, you know, if you guys will just go ahead and make sure you're all uh, muted. I just muted everybody so that will knock out, knock out all the background noise. And um, when we open it up, uh, you can unmute yourself and come on in and ask any questions. So, you know, what I decided to do tonight was just, um, you know, I, I think about these things all the time about, you know, what's the, what's the best message? Um, and, you know, and I, I, the best message is really that we just keep the, the main thing, the main thing. And what I mean by saying that is that, you know, there's only a, a few things that we do in this business. And if you'll get good at doing those few things, then your business has a way of, you know, growing exponentially um, way beyond your control. And, and that's what we all want to do. We want to, we want to work ourselves out of a job, right? And um, uh, the first time that that happened to me, it felt a little uncomfortable because I, you know, I was, I was so needed in, in the business that, um, you know, when they didn't need me anymore, I, I went, geez, you know, they don't need me. You know, I, what do I do? Well, uh, what I did was I sat on the front row and I clapped and uh, I applauded everybody's success and I cashed my check. Um, then I moved from the front row to the back row. Um, so it just, uh, I discovered that, uh, you know, the more leaders you create, uh, the less they're going to need you. And um, so that's, that really is a, a comfortable feeling now where it was a very uncomfortable feeling before. So, you know, we do, uh, we only do a few things in this business and, you know, the few things are we promote the product, right? We let tr people try the product. We promote the opportunity and we build for events. So, now that all sounds very simple uh, and it really is very simple. I mean, I didn't say we sell product. I didn't say we, you know, we cram it down somebody's throat. Um, you know, it, it really, you know, we're in the sifting and sorting business, right? Uh, some people will, some people won't. And really it doesn't matter. Um, and I know that it, it, kind of does matter to you at this stage of the game. But as you kind of mature in the business, uh, it won't matter. You know, those people, and what I talk about is never really wanting to convince anybody. I don't want to convince anybody to do anything because then I've got to convince them to join the Zoom. I got to convince them to get on the Monday call. I got to convince them to do this. I got to convince them to do that. And I'm not in the convincing business. I'm in the show and tell business, right? And uh, so I'm looking for people that want to take the initiative and do things on their own initiative, right? Uh, certainly I'll, I'll sit down and help. I'll work hand in hand with somebody, um, you know, day and night. But, um, uh, you know, they, they've got to kind of take their own initiative to, to get started. Um, like I, like I said to everybody, I mean, if, if you haven't got your samples yet and you've run into some people that need to have samples, you know, we need to get some samples in their, in their kitchen, by all means, reach out to me. You know, we'll get them sent. You know, whatever I can do in order to help facilitate your growth in the business, I certainly want to do that. Uh, so, um, you know, tonight what I wanted to do um, and, and I could I could really expound on all of those you know topics that I just gave you and kind of segregate those and expand on them. But you know it really is such a simple simple business if we'll just keep it keep it simple and keep it fun and keep it light and airy. And um, you know one of the guys that that I've asked to come on and and do something tonight. Uh, is Mitch. Mitch just hit Emerald. Congratulations, buddy, for, for doing that. And um, uh, for all of you that don't know what that is, that means that he's got uh, $5,000 in business volume, 5,000 business volume on both legs. 
right? And um, uh, even though I'm the one that, that provided 90% of the volume on one of his legs, Mitch had to participate and produce 10% on his enroller's leg, my leg, right? Which keeps that enroller's leg building. Ingenious, actually, uh, how they put this whole thing together. Um, but um, Mitch, congratulations on that. Mitch has become the um, the king of three way calls, uh, and I and I say that because uh, uh, of the way that he does them. And I want you guys to really hear from him. I mean, I could sit here and tell you, but I'd rather have you hear it directly from Mitch exactly how he does it, why he does it and how it's working, more importantly, uh, because everything uh, that we do, you know, either, pro either produces negative results or positive results, right? And so we try to, you know, not do the things that don't produce results and do a lot more of the things that do produce results. So uh, with that, Mitch, why don't you take it away? And um, I always look forward to seeing Mitch's name pop up on my phone because I know what it is. It's we're going to talk to somebody, <laughs> and that's always a that's always a great thing. So, Mitch, take it away. Well, uh, thanks, Chuck. Um, you know, call it third party influence. Uh, you know, I don't know if if you can relate, but you know, when you have been telling your wife or your your husband something for a long time, and you know they need to do this, they need to do this, they need to do this, and or whatever it is. And then their best friend tells you know, and years go by and they never do it. And then their best friend tells them in one minute, they, they say the same exact thing. And then all of a sudden they do it. And it's like, wait a minute, didn't, haven't I been telling you about that for like two years, you know, but it's called third party influence. In other words, somebody will listen to uh, somebody else besides me because they know me, they know me from real estate most of a lot of the time. And they don't know me as the expert with regards to, uh, yeah, this business or anything to do with coffee. So um, I learned a long time ago to use that third party influence. I have no trouble doing it. I find it interesting when people uh, tell me or, or they just don't do it for whatever reason. And, you know, they have all kinds of excuses on why they don't do it. Uh, but at the, at, the, at the end of it all, it's fear. You know, they're worried about, you know, tarnishing their friendship or what the person's going to think or, you know, things like that. So, um, you know, for me, I just, I, I really don't care. <laughs> I think you got to get to the point where you don't care too much what people think. But I do know that um, getting that third party on the phone, I call Rick all the time. I call Chuck all the time. And I make myself available to those on my team as well, like, like Linda down there. I see her over there. Um, you know, and I'll do the same for them. So what I do is I don't ask permission. I mean, that's the main thing. I think a lot of times when people try to do a three-way call, they ask permission. You know, they might say to their friend, listen, is it okay if I get, uh, you know, my friend uh, Rick on the phone or my friend Mitch or whatever. And the first thing their friend is thinking is, oh my God, he's putting me on the phone with the closer, you know, like the uh, car sales guy or whatever. And they're going to, you know, high pressure me. So naturally, the, the, the friend is going to say, no, thank you. I don't want to talk to Chuck. Uh, you know, I don't want to talk to Rick. You know, I got enough information right here. And so you know, to avoid that happening, I've got into the habit because we have these, uh, you know, wonderful devices um, and, and we're always kind of distracted by the devices and people are, are, are accustomed to that, is I'll be in the middle of talking to somebody or I'll call them up and we're talking about it a little bit and I say, you know, hang on a quick sec. And then I just go over and I, I dial up Chuck, I hit a three-way call or, or whatever it is, a conference call. I dial up Chuck or Rick and I say, it's like, we did this 10 minutes ago, didn't we, Chuck? I, I said, uh, hey, Chuck, this is my friend, uh, Jennifer. She's in real estate. She's in Atlanta. She's a really good gal. She's a single mom. She doesn't like network marketing, blah, 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 blah. I throw it all out there like in 20 seconds. I said, you got it? Chuck goes, yeah, I got it. <laughs> I said, okay, here we go. I've just merged the calls. And then I come back. Now, if as an example, I couldn't get Chuck on the phone, I might just go right back to the call and go, sorry about that as though I was just clearing the line and another call was coming in. They really don't know that I tried to do a three-way call. And that gives me another opportunity a little later in the conversation. Let's say if I can't find Chuck and I might be looking for Rick 
so now I can go back and say, you know, oh, hang on one more second. <laughs> then I go ahead and put Rick on, and I say, you know, same thing to Rick, kind of give him a warning on who he's about to talk to. Sorry about the cat, uh, who he's about to talk to, and uh, you know, then um, what I'll do is, uh, assuming I can get Rick on or Chuck, whatever, then I'll make a quick introduction and I'll say, hey, uh, Rick, this is my friend Mike. Like yesterday, this is my friend Mike. You know, he's in real estate. You know, this guy's a rock star. He sells a ton of property. He's a great guy. And, and, and I might say to Mike, uh, hey, Mike, this is my friend Rick. You know, he's been doing this a while, um, you know, like 37 years or whatever in the, in the nutrition industry. He really knows this business inside and out. But rather than you hear it from me, let me introduce you to Rick. And then what I do is I just um, I say, make the introduction and then I just shut up. Uh, which is the hardest thing for a lot of people not to help. But what I do is I just go ahead and and just uh, make the introduction, then I mute out the phone. And more often than not, uh, the person doing the three-way call will say exactly what I need them to say and everything they need to say. So I really don't need to help. But once in a while, if uh, you know Chuck or Rick left out something and I think that person needs to hear it, I might ask a question just to prod them along. And I do that from time to time too. So I don't have any trouble with it. Never happens though. What's that? I never leave anything out. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. But you know, occasionally I'll ask a question just to you know make make sure you say something if you're about to get off the phone. But most more often than not, everything that needs to be said is said. But that is the most powerful tool that third party influence. So I do three way calls. I I bet you I do four or five a day, uh, give or take. And I do one for Linda down there too. And she's got a good story for you here in a minute. But anyway, that's it, Chuck. Thanks for having me. Well, absolutely. And and by all means, you know, introduce Linda because I, I asked you to have her be on the call because of a text message I got. It actually was an email and you sent it over to me uh, on text. And, and I looked at it and I said, well, how cool is that? And uh, I said, so make sure that Linda's on the call and make sure... Because it's it's all about stories. It's all about you know successes. So, Linda, come on on and uh, share your story. Share that email that you you sent to uh, to Mitch. And incidentally, as she's getting unmuted, I went ahead and you're still muted. I went okay, ahead. I'm unmuted now, right? Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah. 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 Linda, I've sent your. I screenshotted your text and I've sent it to yeah. you. Yeah. I, I figured that's what happened. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah, I was pretty shocked when I checked and found out I had made $280 for doing nothing, you know. Um, when, um, when Mitch showed me this, it couldn't have happened at the worst time. I was so busy. But I saw how it was going viral, so I had to lock a spot in, you know. And then I thought, oh, my gosh, Mitch is talking to everybody I know. I need to get the word out so that somebody – will come through me instead of directly through Mitch. So I, um, I sent out an email and a text to just some of the top people that I know that are entrepreneur, entrepreneurs that I know have been looking for something that works, you know. And then my phone just started ringing off the wall and emails coming in and I was spending all my time just answering calls, getting them on the phone with Mitch or Chuck or um, whatever, and you know, I sent him. I sent them all um, those videos that that Chuck has made for us. Uh, what I did is I actually created a page through the Conversion Pros that has three videos on the page, and uh, well, actually six if they go to the second page. But anyway, um, it was just I didn't make outgoing calls. They were all coming into me, you know, and so I knew I'd. Uh, enrolled six people the first week, so I knew I'd made six hundred dollars. And but it was split up, you know. I didn't work from Friday to Friday, so it was split up between two paychecks. And so my first check was three hundred and twelve, so I knew I had another three hundred coming, you know. And then the next week, instead of just being three hundred, it was five twenty, so that added up to eight hundred and thirty-two for one week's work. Well, and. After working it about a week, that's when I absolutely had to just put it on the back burner, take the phone off the hook, ignore my emails. I had to get my income tax done because <laughs> it was deadline time. And so uh, I knew I hadn't done anything 
more. And so I wasn't expecting any more money. And then uh, Mitch asked me if I'd check, see if I'd made some more money. I thought, well, I know I hadn't, but I'll go look. And there was 280 more dollars. And so that's a total of 11, 12 for just a little bit of work one week. You know, <laughs> I've never had anything that did this before. So I, I'm back on the phone now. <laughs> right, right. Good. Well, congratulations. And uh, thank you. Yeah, it's. Uh, you guys I, did the work. I just dialed the phone, and got you on the phone. Well, you know, that's how I feel all the time that everybody else has done the work. Uh, Dave, Dave has done the work. Rick has done the work and kind of set everything in course. Uh, for us to come along and participate in, in everything. So uh, it really, really has been a, really has been a blessing. So, um, hey, you know, guys, let's. Uh, don't, don't kid yourself, Chuck. I'm, I'm, I'm resting on the beach every day. That's <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Chuck's in my business. I'm retired. <laughs> yeah. So, Rick, you've got a big hey, event. No, let me ask you something, Gracie. Yeah. You said you made how much? Eleven twelve. Eleven hundred. Yeah, one thousand one hundred twelve dollars. I enrolled uh, six people. I helped. Never, you'll never make that kind of money in another company. No. Not for the amount of money that people are coming in with. You know, no. when you think about it, guys, you can make forty percent right up front. I mean, if you just focused on bringing in one or two a week, you know, if you got a hundred contacts. You're making yourself four hundred to eight hundred dollars, a thousand dollars a week just building the business. Right. Normally that doesn't happen. What normally happens is people make, you know, a hundred and fifty dollars their first month, or yeah. two fifty dollars their first Get month. That. You know, two fifty their second month. Three. I mean, we're making a thousand dollars a week here in this business building it. That's not even counting the residuals. I mean, you know. It's amazing the money they, they pay out here. It is it is a real creeping up on 50% payout here. It's not a joke here. You know, a lot of these companies like Amway pays out 29, uh, 22%. Um, you got all these older companies, New Skin, they pay out like 32 to 35%. Mililuca only pays out 29%. You're talking about almost double what those companies pay out. So people are making big money here. That's why this company really exploded because we had 125 diamonds and above in the first 12 to 14 months. That's crazy. In my company before this, I was in a unit level. We only had 20 people that were diamond and above in two and a half years. So right. you can make the money here. You just got to put people on the phone with Mitch and Chuck and myself and, and start doing more three ways. That's all it is. Mitch, Mitch calls me every day. I know that he wants to tell me about, about somebody. He doesn't have to ask me if I can do a three-way. If I pick up the phone, I'm ready to do a three-way, Mitch. So just say, hey, I've got Joe here and blah, blah, blah. You know, you don't even have to tell me too much about them because I like to ask people questions and listen to them because a lot of times they'll just tell me, uh, how, you know, they'll convince themselves how they want to come into this business. And everybody – that Mitch knows seems to be in a real estate or insurance or whatever. So there are already people in sort of entrepreneurial commission type jobs and they're, they understand residual income. So you want people like that, that understand residual income and looking to build something over the next two to five years where they can quit and still make eight, 10 grand a month. That's sweet. That is lifestyle. And it doesn't matter what age you're at, you know, you, there's never too late to start because a, a company like Valentis only comes around about once every seven years in network marketing. As far as you being a part of the right timing, the timing is we're two years from momentum, major momentum. I mean, we're right in that little sweet spot that John Paremza talks about. So anyway, go ahead, Chuck. Sorry. <laughs> all I, all I, I just wanted to emphasize, Chuck, how much money people are making. Yeah, you know, I know. I don't it gets out enough, you know, right. everybody's afraid to say I'm making 4,000 a week or I made eight. I made 6,800 my first month. That's crazy. And, and I, and that was on the old compensation plan without the coffee. So I can't even imagine. I probably would have made eight, 10 grand my first month. If I got excited, it's, I'd rather have excited people on ignorance, you know, 
versus smart people talking about ingredients and science and all that garbage because it, it's it's all about excitement. You get iOS and testimony it's on fire, and you're excited, and you got fear of loss because Mitch is hogging all the people, Mitch. Yep. I look down my downline people he's brought in as people on my list. <laughs> That's right. I want you to get to work, Gracie. We're going to get you to diamond. <laughs> What's it take to be diamond? 15,000 volume, as long as Mitch is helping you on that other leg. So I'm not worried get, about that leg. <laughs> yeah, you better get to work. So Mitch is doing really well, guys, uh, if you're honest. Yeah. Yeah, just FYI, um, I, I started totaling it all up. In seven weeks, I've made just shy of four thousand dollars. Right, that is awesome money part time. Mitch only calls me like usually at lunchtime, or he'll call me at the end of the day around four to five p.m. I don't know if he's going to dinner with these people or doing happy hour with them or whatever. But I mean, that's when he calls me is about the the noon to two and four to to six p.m. And then Stephen Pagursky, he likes to, or not Stephen Pagursky, uh, what's his name? Barry Bain likes to call me on Saturday nights and chat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Said, yeah. Where's Put Barry? Put somebody on with me, man. I got to go spend time with my family. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> He's funny, too. But we got great guys. I'd like to get up to Arkansas really soon. I want you guys to get another 30, 40 people, man, in the next 30 days. Maybe I'll fly up there and we'll do a meeting because I'm, I'm making one now for Houston. And for uh, and there's a meeting in Vegas. If you know people in Vegas, November 3rd, I think, and then Houston is Tuesday night here. It'll be both Spanish and English. So I'm doing that presentation too. So if you need info on that, get to Chuck because he sent it out on email. So, yeah. Anyway, so pull quiet. out, pull out, pull out all your stops, right? And look at look at your you look at your Houston calendar. Look at people that you know. Ask them who they might know in the Houston market. You, you just got to dig in and dig in and dig in and dig in and keep asking people who they know, who they know, who they know, because inevitably somebody will know somebody. And, you know, what you need to do is just get them invited. Uh, and I know if they go to the meeting with Rick, they're going to get in the business. They'll get excited. They'll try the coffee. Um, if they go to the meeting in Las Vegas, um, uh, I, I think there's um, uh, somebody else that's going to doctor um, the doctor that just made double diamond. I mean, he's going to do the meeting, but I know that there's other people going and, and are more than happy to, to help with that event as well. So, um, and then, you know, uh, John is over to the UK. He's uh, in Copenhagen. Uh, so, you know, he's on that European tour. So if you've got any contacts over there, by all means, reach out to me or reach out to Rick. And uh, so we can get you, you know, John's, John's schedule. So, um, you know, there's just not a whole lot. Uh, I mean, one of the things that I've discovered um, in, in, in communicating back and forth with, with Dave and with Rick uh, is that, you know, I hear stories of, of people taking the product and then, you know, it was working fine, but now it's not working. And, um, you know, so I, I brought that, I brought a comment like that to Dave today, and he said, they're not drinking enough water. And, uh, you know, it seems like every time I brought something, um, you know, relative to the product, whether it's a reaction that somebody is getting or this or that, whatever it is, it seems like it all goes back down to one thing, hydration, right? Not drinking enough water. Uh, you drink more water, you lose more weight. So um, I'm going to really try to emphasize uh, to everybody that I'm giving product to, and I hopefully you will as well, Rick has made a comment and I, and I kind of poo pooed it off about, you know, drinking, you know, 16 ounce bottle of water before you have coffee in the morning. Uh, and I haven't done it, you know, <laughs> but, but I'm going to, because I'm kind of stuck now. I'm, I'm stuck at the weight that I'm at. I'm right hovering at 179, 180, you know, right in that, you know, right in that neighborhood. And, um, you know, I'd like to get out of that neighborhood and go on down into another neighborhood. 
So, um, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna start that in the morning, buddy. So, uh, the water the water thing. So, uh, drink more water, and you know it, it only makes sense if you think about it. I mean, if it's metabolizing, if if the coffee is metabolizing fat fat cells, and those things are dissolving and shrinking and and disappearing, everything that's in that fat cell is being you know offloaded into your body and no telling what that is right so uh, you've got to flush it you got to flush it out of your system and the only way to do that is hydration so um rick you want to add anything to that no i mean really you know there's only been a couple people like feel fatigue or feel like suddenly tired after drinking it and it's just because there's too many toxins being dumped in the liver so your body isn't able to get rid of them and the reason is hydration so everything around this product is just unbelievably awesome but you gotta hydrate your body because whenever you lose fat you're gonna lose whatever's in those fat cells as well and the body has to get rid of that stuff you know if you were a maintenance guy and you were dipping your hands in oil for 20 years uh or whatever gasoline and then you it had a lot of fat and you're losing that fat, there is no doubt there are those chemicals in those fat cells. So you've got to drink a ton of water. <clears throat> hey, Gracie. Yeah. How, how do you drink your coffee? <laughs> you, you, ought to tell, you ought to tell them uh, that, that quick story. Yeah, yeah. I hate coffee. I <laughs> hate it. If that, it makes me sick. <laughs> and so I didn't even drink it for the longest time, but I got so sick of hearing all this weight loss from everybody but me, you know, and I've been doing everything in the world and trying every kind of weight loss product in the world to lose weight. And so I decided I had to grow up and learn to drink it. And so I tried it with cocoa. To, I, I just, I've been trying to kill the coffee taste, but I got some, um, some of the keto creamer in and that helps more than anything. I, in one cup, one six ounce cup because I don't want to have to drink any more than I have to. <laughs> okay. I put two of the scoops of the keto creamer and probably about a fourth of a teaspoon of vanilla and about three spoons of xylitol. And it almost kills the coffee taste. <laughs> yeah, I've got, we've got two, actually, I've got two emeralds and a diamond. Actually, if you count Chris, that would be uh, Triple Diamond, who all never drank coffee before Valentis. Why did they get involved? Well, Chris got involved for the energy, but the rest of them got involved because they wanted to lose weight. And when they saw people losing 30 pounds, yeah. and needed to lose 60, they found a way to drink it. You know, one of them uses cocoa. Um, the other one has learned to drink it like I drink it. I drink it in 16 ounces of iced water. So it's, it's already thinned out, but not too much because I still taste it. And I love, love the taste of it compared to what I was drinking, which was the bitter, nasty, straight black coffee of Starbucks. That stuff, I, I would throw up drinking that stuff after been, I've been drinking this good stuff because it's just real bitter. So, yeah, I see you know, that text too. even if you don't drink coffee and you run across people that don't drink coffee, it doesn't matter. They, there's still an opportunity here. Right. You, you yeah. know, eight out of 10 people drink coffee and I promise you 10 out of 10 need to lose weight. I don't care if it's five or 10 pounds, everybody needs to lose weight, especially in America. So yeah. it's it's still an opportunity for those who don't like coffee. Yeah. So, uh, I'm glad you're drinking it though. I want yeah, to hear- I am too, I lost three oh, pounds. Yeah, oh, yeah. Just, I want to hear how you lost 10 pounds even though you put syrup and- no, 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 xylitol is zero calories. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I saved the text, Linda. Here's exactly what it says. This is okay. funny. Wait. I did it, exclamation point. I killed or at least subdued the coffee taste with hot cocoa, vanilla, xylitol, enough that I have choked down two cups so far of the worst hot cocoa I have ever had. But I feel like I have conquered the world. <laughs> Yay, weight loss, here I come. It only added about 120 calories per cup. 
That's got to yeah, be cocoa. not drinking it, right? That was the cocoa, but I, I've quit the cocoa. Now I'm just using the keto creamer and the xylitol. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, uh, Linda, uh, Phyllis just sent me a, a chat and she said, what videos are you using? You know, that you're sending out. You said that you use some videos and which, which videos are those? Um, okay. The company has a couple that are pretty good. Uh, I kind of created two pages. One is more geared towards just the product and the other page is more geared towards the business opportunity on the business opportunity. Of course, that's what I focus on on that one. Um, the first video is the little short, I think it's four minutes uh, that the company has saying how coffee is the big market in, you know, worldwide and all that. That's the first one. And then you are the second one. Uh, why Valentus, why now? I think that's the one where you're sitting there with Rocky. Okay. And right. then the third one is you with the, the play. Okay. Yeah, so you're, those those YouTube videos that we put up there. Right, right. right. Okay. And so. then for the three about the coffee, I've got the one with the company, the little two-minute one about how it curbs your appetite and everything, and then one of testimonials. And then I found a great one on YouTube of a naturopath doctor talking about it and how it's so good. Yeah, and then, you know, the other thing that I always push people over to uh, Best Lo best Weight Loss Coffee today on Facebook, I always push them over to that page because that page is just loaded with testimonials and photos and, and everything else. And, uh, you know, it just, again, validates everything. Um, what do you say, Best Weight Loss Coffee Today? Best, yeah, Best Weight Loss Coffee Today. Okay. Yeah, and uh, so definitely, definitely send them over there. And, um, you know, I've been sending them the generic version of uh, Marshall Silver's uh, video that he did without his URL on it. And uh, again, it just validates everything. You know, he, he talks about uh, all of those things and, you know, the weight loss and the company and so on and so forth. And it, you know, extremely, extremely high quality. Uh, so, um, you know, and it's just, you know, guys, it's just taking people through the process, right? And I keep, you'll keep hearing me say that over and over and over again, because, you know, we're taking them and we're educating them. Think about yourself for a second. How long did it take you to make a decision? It'll take your prospect at least that long, if not longer. And it really is up to you to feed that prospect the information in little bite-sized pieces and that's why I send out things for you. You know, uh, it might be a, a long uh, email, but it'll have bites in there, right? It'll have compensation plan videos. It'll have uh, the new Optimum Spanish video. It'll have this, it'll have that, right? And, you know, just for you to grab those bites and stick them in a file and then go and refer to them. You know, well, maybe this person would like to see this because whatever you're gonna send them, they've never seen for the most part. So it's just sending them little bites of things. And again, you know, Mitch gets, uh, uh, and, and other people get us on the phone with prospects. And again, we're just telling our story, right? We're telling our story. You know, how long have you been in the industry? Da, 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 da. You know, what's happened to you and so on and so forth. I mean, I use Rick's story all the time, you know? So, hey, any guy that's made, and then that's how, you know, that's how Rick kind of got me. Rick and I were kind of messing around with some investments together. And uh, I said, hey, how's that Valentis thing going? And he says, oh, he says it's going, you know, going good. And I said, did you ever make any money? And he said, yeah, I made like, you know, 1.4 million so far. And I stopped, right? I just kind of said, what? You know, how long you been there? And he said, oh, three and a half years. And I said, Really, 1.4 million. I said, huh? I said, uh, and then my next my next sentence was, what was your best month? He said, oh, about you know, 22,000 a week. I said, really, 22,000 a week? Well, he, you know, he already had me, right? He just he just didn't know he had me, and we went on about doing our business and and uh, 
but you know, at that point, I was curious, right? I was curious. Well, you know, what, what, what in the world have I missed? Um, and and I'm not usually one to miss anything. But you know, Rick was very subtle uh, and very subdued about the whole thing because we were working on another project. But um, but I appreciated him sharing that information and. You know, and that's the kind of information that your prospects are looking for. You know, is it worth my time and effort? And you know what, guys, in the very beginning, it won't be. You know, and I never kid anybody about that because it's not worth anybody's time and effort because it's, again, 100% of your effort, right? Your, your own effort of doing it by yourself. And then all of a sudden, you know, like that crazy... Uh, naked dancer guy out there in the field, right? Uh, you know, he's dancing like crazy and all of a sudden he gets a follower. And then, you know, the second one comes, then the third one comes, then the fourth one comes. And, you know, and that's how your business will be. You know, the second one will come and the third one will come and the fifth one will come and the tenth one will come and, and you'll just kind of keep adding to everything. And then you'll find out who the serious ones are compared to just who the curious ones are, right? So, uh, and you just kind of continue to work with the serious ones and the rest of them, unfortunately, will fall off by the wayside, but you know what? You can't help that. You know, it's just kind of human nature. I mean, so many people quit right before they strike gold and uh, it, it happens all the time in this industry. You really can't take it personally and I know everybody here wants to drag everybody along with them, but you know, it's just extra weight, right? And so you just gotta, you get, I, I was told something by a, a big income earner uh, and I never quite understood what he said. He said, work in the groups where you're not needed. And I go, what does that mean? You know, work in the groups that you're not needed. And he said, if that, if they're, if they don't need you, that's where you need, really need to focus because that's where all your volume's coming from. And he said, don't go to the the people that are needy, right? That take up all your time, uh, because that's all we have to offer is time, right? And there's only so many hours in the day, so you know, work with the ones that are producing results and doing things the right way, and. Um, you know, I know Rick feels like that. I certainly feel like that. I'm more than happy to help everybody, but, you know, again, being self-sufficient, right? And uh, doing things and, and moving the ball along, uh, doing things the right way and producing results. So, um, Rick, anything you want to add to that before we close it up and say good night? No, just uh, look at, check your list for the Houston phone number, 713-281-832. And, you know, anybody in Texas that's a couple hours away could probably make it. Tell them I'll give them a, a free uh, can or something. <laughs> Hopefully, you know, there's not 20 of them showing up. <laughs> I only got about eight cans. But, <laughs> I mean, I'll deal with it, right, if that happens. But, um, you know, look, we lead with the product and the opportunity in this deal. And, you know, the people that are building the business are the ones that got the results on the product love the products and getting on all the others Valentis products and the ones that are putting people on three-way phone calls with Chuck and I and Mitch or whoever. And then the ones that are on this zoom every Sunday night, those are the people building the business. And tomorrow you're going to want to make the call if you can at all possibilities. Cause Kevin Thomas, the formulator of the Optum is going to be on there and I'm not sure, but they may even have another special announcement that Kevin has been working on. So this may be another formulation. I'm not sure how they're going to do all that, but I know that the, uh, the Winnipeg uh, convention up there, um, November 16 and 17, they're definitely launching something and maybe samples of something. And there's actually another product coming in behind that. So, I mean, I'm pretty excited about both of them. If, that's, if they're going to happen, I'm very excited about both of these and um especially the the next one coming up so it'll just give us an opportunity to reach out to more types of people or more people who get excited about a specific product versus another product you know so i'm pretty excited but be on that call tomorrow 
uh, in the morning because Kevin Thomas is going to be on there. And, um, man, his formulator speech at the convention was awesome. I mean, if you had heard it, you would be sucking this coffee down 14 times a day because he, he just made it seem like, and it is, it, I really believe in it that much too, but it, it really is a phenomenal product. Even if you're a skinny person, you should try to figure out a way to drink a half a scoop twice a day because of the nitric oxide in it. It's pretty awesome stuff. And yeah, I got a lot of energy. I I got one of the guys that in Vegas. I got, I got one of the guys in the UK that uh, does triathlons. Right, guy has no fat on his body anywhere, and uh, he was fourth in overall placement in 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 Europe. Um, and he's doing a big event, a uh, big triathlon. Actually, he can't go to the UK event because of the triathlon but he uses the product religiously and he swears by it, you know, not for the reduction, but just for the energy and the, and the mental focus. And so he's, um, yeah, I mean, he's, and he's putting people in left and right. Um, you know, they're all coming in. Um, it's kind of weird in, in the UK, but, uh, yeah, they're all coming in the business builder pack. So, um, Hey guys, um, that's about all I've got for this evening. I think it was very informative. I, I hope everybody enjoyed the uh, the conversation, and I think that these these uh, these calls Sunday night are are ultra important. And again, just kind of getting together. And uh, so, with that, um, yeah. See, hey, you know, one thing too, Chuck, that we could do that I think would be kind of cool. Yeah, if we had uh, Mitch calling you and then calling me with three-way calls right in front of everybody. I don't oh, yeah. mind doing yeah. live three-way yeah. calls. I'm yeah. not afraid to do it. I mean, you know, if you get a no or you get somebody that acts like they're agitated or not interested, then you just lay off and let them go and say, hey, we'll wait till you get the product, you know, and we'll talk again if, if that's where they're at. But I just think it'd be a great idea. The way Mitch does it, he sets it up so nicely. He right. really does. Yeah. He doesn't mess around either. If I try to be too friendly with people and, and get to know him, he's like, hey, he wants to cut me off and get back to business, you know. I'm trying to build rapport there, Mitch. <laughs> build a relationship because that's what this business is about. But I love the way Mitch operates. He's all business, man. And it's yeah. really refreshing. He says, okay, we've heard enough from Chuck. Okay. Just <laughs> <laughs> he cuts me off. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And he He'll set you up, Chuck, and he'll say, could you just tell him kind of your little story here that's happened in the last five months? So I don't go into the whole company routine. I just talk about what's happened to me since May. And that's where the story's at now. It doesn't matter what happened prior to May anymore. We're a debt-free company. We're four years old. And everybody who joins today is actually joining the right time versus two years ago or three years ago. Even Amen. though, and it was 1.6 million, not 1.4. So yeah, well, it was, it was one point. Yeah, I was actually the third highest earner, even though I didn't get any attention until this last convention. Right. And Mitch was there, so he 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 saw it was kind of like I felt like it was the uh, uh, the Academy Awards for me. It was ridiculous because I hadn't been to, and I wasn't even able to speak and thank everybody. You know, like thank Chuck Hansen and Mitch and everybody in my group. He just they just handed out awards, but you know it was real clear. Uh, Mitch was hanging out with the the winner of the of the convention there, <laughs> and he was loving it. But I wish Chuck had been there. But that hurricane really messed it up, man. We could have had two or three other people there; would have been a lot more fun, you know. So uh, next Her, convention, we hurricane really need to have, have can make of, Winnipeg. That's yeah. great. Right. I, I'm still like this on Winnipeg, but supposedly they're sure. going to announce. I'm going to find out more, but if they announce a new product, it's probably worth going because they'll have training on it and the formulator, Kevin, will be there. So, anyway, right. it was a lot so, of fun. Uh, I, I really hadn't had a, a convention that right. Tuesday night, Tuesday night in Houston. So, Rick yeah. will be there. Look through your database, contact everybody on Facebook, contact everybody on LinkedIn, find people in the Houston area, and uh, get them over to visit with Rick. Uh, Free free canister of slim roast. You you guys heard it. Okay. So uh, okay, that's it. 
that's it. Um, I'll be around all week. Rick will be around all week. And uh, with that, God bless everybody. Thanks for being on the on the Zoom here this evening. And if I can help you, just give me a shout. And uh, we'll go from there. I'm going to shut the recording off. We're here to help. Okay, Good. Jack. Okay, see you guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.